Yo guys, Features Gaming here. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we are back on Train Sim World 3 for another driving route. And today we are going to be doing another route for the 12 Trains of Christmas, episode 10 today. And we are going to be driving a Southeastern Class 375. Well, maybe Southeastern. Well, I know it isn't. I will show you the livery from Rochester to Faversham. Now, I know that this is a pretty much a duplicate of a route that we did, but we went from Faversham to Rochester. I'm doing this one, Rochester to Faversham at a bit of, you know, a bit of a different time of day just to spice things up a little bit. Um, and once again, in the class 375. So let's click get started. And uh, yeah, it's actually quite dark. Um, just to, you know, again, spice things up a little bit. So let's go ahead and put that into neutral. Let's go ahead and turn the daylights to night running because I think we're going to need it. Um, we'll go ahead and open the doors as well. Bring that into the one position. We'll go ahead and turn on AWS and DSD as well. Clear those. And I think we're pretty much done, I think, actually, with setting up this train. Everything is ready. I mean, we need to turn on the wipers to slow. So we'll do this. And we are doing it in a waterline livery. And the reason I'm doing it in a waterline train is just simply because... We haven't really done a route in a waterline livery train for quite a while, so I decided we'll do another waterline train and um, yeah, just do that. So yeah, I do apologize if this is a bit of a duplicate, um, you know, train 12 or 12 trains of Christmas um, video, you know, that we did before. Uh, I think it was episode four, I think, actually, because I, I literally was looking at it today. So yeah, I do apologize about that. But uh, yeah, I want to fill these in. So as I said, I think tomorrow will be, uh, not tomorrow, uh, in two days from now will be the, um, will be a, uh, a 465 journey. And then um, obviously the um, episode 12 will be where we drive the product Express, which I'm really looking forward to. You know, it is the 10th episode today being uploaded on the 20th of December five days until christmas day five days and i know you are probably thinking like fetch why are you getting so excited it's just a day to some of you yes obviously i know that there's a few people out there that you know don't you know you know celebrate christmas and i get that you know happy holidays to all of you but for most of us or at least for i i think a few of us on the on the channel at least most of us on the channel um Christmas is a is you know a, a big part uh, for us so uh, yeah that is why we are uh, happy about it yeah the next station is Chatham something that um, you never thought would be happening uh, as I'm recording this video but I'm gonna, but I'm gonna tell you um, is I've currently got a spider um overwatching me uh actually in fact i've got two uh yeah <laughs> i've got like two spiders just in my room and i don't mind them to be fair you know at the end of the day it's a spider it's not gonna harm me at all you know and at the end of the day they're more spe they're, they're more scared of us than we are scared of them i know it sounds you know i know it sounds you know sort of that's not true it is okay <laughs> They are actually more scared of us than we are of them. So honestly, I really do not mind, um, you know, if they're, you know, just in my room, just chilling, basically. You know, he's not moving. He's not doing anything. He's just sat there. Um, well, hanging off a, you know, web and same thing with another one as well. And it's literally near my desk as well. Like I could literally just lean over and get it if I if I wanted to, but I'm not I'm I'm not gonna make it scared. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it there. He, he he can chill there. It's not a massive problem with me. He can just stay there. And as me talking about that has made me overshoot Chatham. But we're here, man. I literally cannot see anything. I honestly need like the cab light on for knowing where I'm going because I literally do not know where I'm going. I think those are the car sounds on the, on the bridge. It's nice and warm in here. Right, let's get back to the cab. Close the door. I think there's a heater in here somewhere. I think it's over here. 
Full heat. Yes. Get that heat on. Okay. Right, well, I suppose we should just wait until we can get going. A few more seconds, and then we should be able to continue to the next station. So, yeah, the next stations after this will be Gillingham, Rainham, Sittingbourne, Tainham, and then Faversham. So, only a few more stations left in this route. Uh, and once again, I'll see if I can try and do some announcements as well. Because that'll be fun, wouldn't it? Right. So I suppose I'll get started with my announcement. Hello and welcome on board this waterline service to Faversham. Today we will be calling at Gillingham, Rainham, Sittingbourne, Tainham, and then finally terminating this service at Faversham. The next station will be at Gillingham. For those of you wanting to get off on the next station, please ensure you have all of your belongings when departing from the train. And we wish you a safe and enjoyable journey. Again, I think it went pretty well. Literally, you know, that I think, honestly, I think that's all you have to say. Just welcome on board the service. Call all the stations that you're stopping at. Say the next station will be so-and-so. You want to get off. Make sure you have your belongings. And just wish them a safe and enjoyable journey. You know, I think it's just one of those things where I kind of, like, overlooked announcements and kind of, like... You know, seeing them and gone like, how the hell is someone supposed to, you know, memorize all of that? Obviously, it does come with, you know, time and practice, you know, you know, getting better at them. And I, I honestly think as like a beginner, you know, you only just need to like really state the obvious um, and stuff like that. And I guess when you get a bit more advanced, you know, with like the announcements and like get more bit experience with things on the rail, then you can kind of say, you know, change at Gillingham for, you know, Southeastern services to St. Pancras or so-and-so, you know what I mean? I really don't think that there needs to be any sort of, uh, you know, thing about that. If I am going to be completely honest. Well, we are just... Currently travelling down the down the line to Gillingham. We will be approaching pretty soon. We can go up to a 60. When do we want to start braking? Uh, 750 at 2, I think. This train did have really good brakes. It's just a case of trying to judge that now, I think. And once again, we've slowed down within like, you know, a couple of hundred meters. <laughs> the brakes are insane on this train. It, they are so powerful. Yeah, my garage door just slammed them for a second. I know I'm in my room, but my window's open <laughs> and I heard it. Okay, bring that to a stop. Oh, another bit of a small overshoot, but we're fine. We still stopped on time. Um, <laughs> well, I was going to say, we're practically where we should actually be anyway, because, you know, the, the car mark is there. But issue with this is that we can't get out. <laughs> We have to go in that way because, yeah, this sign is blocking us. But yeah, we're practically where we should be. There doesn't seem to be anyone at the station. Hello? No one's here. Well, I mean, it's nice to see that, you know, there's loads of people on my train, so that's good we are. Taking them to uh, wherever they need to be so then they can get the uh, the final train time for Christmas. You know, with it being five days until that day, I think it'll be a massive kick out from, you know, like works and factories and things like that to, you know, shut down for the Christmas period. And um, 
yeah, they all, um, you know, get get home for uh, for the day. So I think it's uh, pretty important that we do this room. So we'll get ready to close the doors as we can do that in a few seconds. And then we should be able to go. So literally a few more seconds. Then we should be able to go. Okay, and close the doors. I just remember the announcements going on, and uh, you know, we, um, the, the station announcement is the waterline voice. <laughs> Pretty ironic, that. Anyway, announcement time, because we can. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board this waterline service to Faversham. Today, we'll be calling at Rainham, Sittingbourne, Tainham, and then finally, Faversham. The next station will be Rainham, so make sure you have all of your belongings when departing from the train if you want to get off at the, if you want to get off at the next station thank you for i'm not supposed to say that we wish you a safe and enjoyable journey i was just about to say the other bit but i didn't well uh yeah bit of a mess up there but i guess it happens right well the next station is actually 2.7 miles away so i think i'll cut this one out just to uh speed this one up a little bit the other sessions are fairly close to each other, but, you know, Rainham's going to be a little bit of a drive away. So I will get over there and I'll catch up with you guys when we are getting closer to Rainham. So we are now approaching Rainham. So I think, judging by how good these brakes are and that I accidentally got a bit sidetracked, if we apply brake two, we might be able to stop at the station quite well. i sorry that was a bit of a jump, but I literally sidetracked myself for a second. But let's judge how good these brakes are. Now, we're going to overshoot it. That is given. We're going to overshoot it. But by how far are we going to overshoot it by? Well, let's just say our entire train has skipped the platform. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, I think, though, thankfully... We haven't actually skipped. Well, well, we skipped one signal. That's actually counted that we've stopped at the station. <laughs> Is this a joke? The only train or the only carriage they can get into is the final carriage. Well, I guess for a joke, you know, it's kind of funny for, you know, the... um. You know, I, I guess it's kind of funny. It's just a bit, you know, <laughs> interesting how it's actually the final coach that they can board on. I didn't actually plan for it to do that, but I guess now that I've done it, I'm an, I'm an, I'm an absolute genius. So, um, we'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I was honestly, I didn't even know what, like, I was like daydreaming or something like that. I literally got completely sidetracked of where we were and where the next station was. And then that happened. Oopsies. That is my mistake. That is completely my mistake. Right, let's close the doors and get going. All right, off we go. Right, announcement time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that uh, very abrupt stop from the last station. Our driver was literally didn't know what he was doing probably not something we, we should be saying over an announcement but i'm going to roll with it today we'll be calling out sittingbourne tainham and then finally faversham which is where this train will terminate the next station will be sittingbourne so if you want to get off at the next station please ensure you have all of your belongings with you we hope you'll have a safe and enjoyable journey which you probably won't have with our driver perfect <laughs> Absolutely perfect. I'd be very reassured that this is going to be a safe journey if um, I was told by the driver that, uh, yeah, we're probably not going to be with uh, them driving. But, you know, it's fine. In train sim, everyone's safe, I think. <laughs> but anyway, let's get over to sitting one again. I'll cut this out because it's five miles. So hopefully a bit more longer to dream, you know, daydream. Uh, I don't know. Um, probably would be, would be the best not to. 
But uh, yeah, I'm going to get over there and uh, once again, catch up with you guys when we are approaching Sitterborn. Hopefully a bit uh, better or a bit quicker than the last one. But regardless, I'm going to cut all of this out and get over and uh, obviously cut back to you when I am approaching Sittingbourne. Okay, so we are, thanks for the AWS, we are now uh, two miles away from Sittingbourne. So, uh, yeah, we annoyingly have a 50 mile an hour literally right outside the station. So we're going to have about... I think 300 yards where we're going to have to travel 15. And I believe uh, this is the one after the tunnel, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But another thing is that, well, we did have just double lambers, uh, but, they now, but they've now changed to green. So I have a slight suspicion that we are following a train. Uh, I hope that they skip Sittingbourne to allow us to obviously break at our usual time. Now, the 15 mile an hour speed limit has just disappeared. So, yeah, I don't know where that's gone. <laughs> um, I mean, it could be that... Oh, my God, I keep doing that. Now, it could be that um, the way the tracks were selected, um, which is where that train in front of us possibly went, that was probably where the... Um, where that other thing was um where the other train was heading to um and we've been obviously left to go to sitting born so uh we're now approaching i've whacked on some seriously hard braking because once again i misjudged a braking position but i think i've got that slowed down quite controllably actually you get a little bit of wheel slip but that's all good and we're actually going to be approaching and hopefully we have a decent stop on this one. Would be nice. Because I don't actually think we've ever had like a proper stopping position actually yet on this uh, journey. But yeah, sitting born getting, uh, getting a lot of trains entering. Probably it's not, or it's probably not really that, you know, this busy. But because it's Christmas, it is. Everyone's wanting to get on the last train home. Now we'll stop that there. I left my door open. <laughs> but honestly, I genuinely wouldn't be surprised if this is literally, you know, the, the closest stopping position, you know, station we have. We'll get a thumbnail as well. Obviously, this station, well, I believe is based off um, all the, all the um, counterpart of this in SCR is Edgemead. I'm pretty sure that bridge looks very familiar with the three stations. So I am pretty sure. All right, we'll go ahead and sit down and get ready to leave. Even though we can actually wait until we can close the doors because it's a uh, 30 second past the minute departure, this one. It's not dead on the minute. We can, uh, or it's uh, one where we can leave it a little bit. So we will go ahead and close the doors in a few seconds, like now. There we go, the closing, and off we go. Right, announcement time. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board this waterline service to Faversham. Today we will be calling at two more stations along this route at Tainham and then finally at Faversham. The next station will be Tainham, so for those of you wanting to get off at the next station, please ensure you have all of your belongings when departing from the train. We wish you a safe and enjoyable journey. That went that one went very better than the previous ones, I think. <laughs> So once again, three miles, pretty long away. I'll cut all of this out and not obviously bore you guys with all of these stops. So yeah, I will cut in the head in the video until we are approaching Tainham once again. Uh, hopefully for another good stop like we actually did have at Sittingbourne. And once again, we are two miles away from Tainham, literally a few seconds after, um, you know, that last bit of talking I just did. So we are actually still speeding up to 80 which we have just hit right now. So let's go to a two power. 
maybe a one power or even just coast it because we're on a uh, we're on a gradient going down and uh we will think about when we start uh, breaking so i'm gonna guess break two at 0 0.7 at a guess just to the horn because i think that was a whistleboard if not then oh well <laughs> Speeding a little bit. Let's push it 0 0.6. But actually, the minute it changes. Alright, start braking. Come on, come on. I think the train's got it. Yeah, we've definitely got this. 100%. Perfection. Look at that. Beautifully controlled. And now we just have to stop the train now. Easier said than done. <laughs> I think we'll start braking now, though. There we go. Smooth stop. Awesome. Stopped in the uh, right position, I think. Maybe a little bit of an overshoot, but only by like a small, you know, only by like a few yards, I think. Not like by meters, is it? Hello, everyone. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> All right, let's actually get going so we can actually go. Off to the final station. Four miles. Well, that's going to be quite a while. But anyway, announcement time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on board this waterline service to Faversham. The next station will indeed be Faversham, where this train will terminate. Please ensure you have all of your belongings when departing from the train. And we wish you a safe and enjoyable journey. I think that's one that needs to be said for the last station. I really do. So yeah, once again, I'll get over there, cut out all of this boring driving thing like usual because otherwise it will get boring. So uh, I will do that and I'll talk to you guys when we are once again approaching Faversham. So once again, we are about two miles away from Faversham now. So I think it would be wise enough to maybe not try a very ambitious slowing down program like we have been the previous few times because... We do need to remember that this is going to be a terminating station and that means it's very likely for there to be um, either a red signal at the end of the station or some buffers. Uh, I think luckily though for Faversham it's going to be a red signal but that still means that we can't skip it because if we do then we'll fill the scenario and the whole video is then basically rubbish. So. We need to make sure that we start slowing down at an appropriate speed and at, and at an appropriate time as well. So, yeah, let's not try anything silly. We just need to get this train stopped now. So, obviously, we do need to decide when we want to start braking. I'm going to guess maybe two braking here. I know it's very early on, but as I said, you know, once again, I don't really want to you know, leave this out, you know, like super late or anything. I do want to start breaking down at a sensible time. I think we will reduce it to one breaking though. Just so we aren't slowing down ridiculously, you know, quickly. And as you can see, there is indeed a red signal at the end of the station. So we really do not want to uh, get very cocky with our braking.
I'm going to slow it down just a little bit more because I don't want to try and aim to enter the station at 20 with it being a, uh, a terminating station as well. If it was a normal, you know, like through one, then I'll probably, you know, push it and go 25. Plus, we will start to, you know, obviously when we, you know, go on the generic, you know, routes, then we, uh, you know, we do, we do try and, you know, push the boundaries of where we can start breaking. But for this station, the terminating station, I don't really fancy my chances. I think we'll start slowing it down a bit more now. Nice, smooth, gentle stop. Just like that. Perfect. And I believe that is going to be the end of the journey. So, once again, I'll see if I can just get a, uh, a, a right place to get like a, like an ending photo, I guess. Like a nice background uh, or a nice backdrop, if I can even speak. I think that should look rather nice. So yeah, we'll just uh, wait for the uh, for the passenger things to finish, and there we go. So here is the breakdown. As you can see, the closest stopping position was Tainham, 0.025. Wow, that was so close to them being a perfect stop. And isn't that one where we literally started? You know, like very harsh braking as well i can't remember but as you can see there's the breakdown um you know been keeping to the speed limits and stuff and yeah pretty cool so i'm now level 49 on my profile overall nearly level 50 uh, level 18 on the southeastern high speed and level 11 driving the 375 key statistics it's taken me 33 minutes i've driven a, a total distance of 18.52 miles and i've also walked a total of 400 yards so uh yeah gold medal as well so i think that's a pretty successful journey for one of these episodes so i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to drop a like on it that would be awesome and thank you very much and if you are also excited for christmas day as i said five days to go and if you are also excited for the rest of the series as well make sure you do drop a like subscribe to the channel as well with notifications on so you never miss out on those videos when they go out and i will see you guys in the next video or stream but until then take care and peace out